Hey guys, uh, before we get started on tonight's um, or today yeah, tonight's Bible study, uh, if you've not subscribed, please do so to, uh, to our YouTube channel. Um, you can go down and there's a subscription button, and you can subscribe to us. And then you can also hit the little bell. And if you hit that little bell, that'll send you reminders of whenever we have new content. So if you do that, we'd appreciate it. We're so close to the 100 subscribers. Uh, if we need 100 subscribers so we can get a custom URL, and I'd appreciate it if you could do that tonight uh, before you uh, log off of here. Also, join us in service this weekend or online this Sunday at 10.30 a.m. We'll be starting a new series called Staycation. And uh, we'll be talking about taking interruptions and turning our interruptions into opportunities, opportunities to share Christ and opportunities to, uh, uh, to minister to people and find ways that we can do that at home. We don't have to go on big missions trips to do this. We can stay right at home talking to our neighbors, friends, relatives, those around us and ministering to them. But it'll be a new series starting. And also, Sunday we'll have a new um, guideline uh, whereas you don't have to wear face mask during the entire service. You, you wear the face mask into service as you're sitting in your seat at service. You don't have to wear the face mask, and then whenever you leave, you just wear the face mask as you leave. So uh, that'll be starting uh, this uh, Sunday, and so uh, just be aware of that, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to come out and, and uh, enjoy being in service with us and looking forward to seeing more people as this as we slowly are opening things up and, are, and being allowed to are being uh, considered to do more things as a group. So uh, just looking forward to uh, this weekend and hope you can be a part. Tonight we're looking at James uh, chapter 3, and I'll begin reading at verse 1. And if you have your Bibles, you can turn with me to James 3, and we'll begin at verse 1. So here we go. Not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault, and what they say is perfect, able to keep their whole body in check. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder, wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boast. Consider what a Great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and, and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. You know, certain positions require a particular amount of of responsibility and come with a large amount of influence. For instance, teachers, mentors, and any kind of supervisor role, they have great responsibility uh, teaching, uh, you know, ministers, delivering God's word, uh, telling people the truth, telling people uh, what they should know and what they should hear. Great responsibility. And communication is a way in which uh, human beings thrive. They, they grow. They make progress in the world, in relationships. We, we rely on communication. We need communication. Uh, in verse 1, James expresses the caution against too many people in the community uh, becoming teachers. He warns that teachers receive uh, stricter judgment. And since teachers have such a great influence on people and their progress, they have a much larger responsibility than others. And then James goes from talking about the responsibility of teachers, he moves right into the tongue. And, you know, it's, it's the tongue that we use to communicate. And I think this was an important lesson that he was giving to those in um, responsibility of teaching and, and talking and ministering and, and doing all those things. 
But he says the tongue is compared to two things that are considered small compared to the force they exert. A horse, as big as it is, can be moved by the use of bits. Now, I don't, I don't know a whole lot of horses. Or I, don't know, I guess I know any horses personally, but I don't know a whole lot of um, I don't know a whole lot about horses other than I remember growing up riding horses. Uh, my grandfather had a horse when I was young, and, and then I remember going to fifth grade camp, you know, and we got to ride horses and all those things. And it was amazing how uh, you would just pull the bridle one way or the other, and that's the way the horse would go. And you could guide that horse with that small, tiny piece of equipment that would just go in the horse's mouth, and then you could guide that horse and then another thing that he talks about, um, James talks about a ship as large and intimidating as it is, and the winds that drive it might be, but that ship can be maneuvered through the sea by just a small rudder, how you turn that rudder one way or the other, and it will uh, manipulate that ship to go whichever direction it needs to go. And in the same way, the tongue is a small part of the body that can cause much damage or much prosperity. It's the tongue that can control our lives. And these examples James gives make the point that many things, especially animals, have been tamed, ruled, and dominated by humankind. The beast of the field can be tamed. However, the tongue is far harder to tame. You know, the tongue is able to communicate what's in our hearts and, and on our minds. And this means that we are liable to speak many good things, but also can cause much destruction. James emphasizes this by reminding us of how we can bless God in one moment and curse his image bearers in the next. The, the tongue cannot be tamed by sinful human beings. We must continually make the choice to renew our minds in order to try to control our tongue along with the help of the Holy Spirit. Now, verse 9 mentions both a positive and a negative use of the tongue. The positive use involved uh, praise of God, the highest function of human speech. Psalm 103, verses 1 through 5 says, Praise the Lord my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Now, the negative use involved uh, cursing human beings. Uh, cursing refers to personal verbal abuse, perhaps arising from loss of temper in an argument or debate. It also involves the expression of angry wishes on enemies. You know, you, you ever heard somebody say, well, I just wish they were dead, or I, I wish that they would, I wish they would fall off a cliff, or I, you know, and those are curses. Those are saying things against uh, your enemy, even your worst enemy. We shouldn't talk curses. Why? Because they were created in the image of God. God created them. God loves them. God cares for them. Therefore, we should uh, speak blessings into their life, not curses into their life, but speech that is insulting as well as profane. Verse 10 spotlights the inconsistency of this action. It says, out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. You see, we are sinfully inconsistent when we bless God and then curse those uh, made in God's likeness. When we curse those whom God has made, we are effectively cursing God. Think about that for a moment. When you curse another human being, you are effectively cursing God. Why is that? Because God made them in his image. God loves everyone. From the hardest of sinners to the most wonderful saints, God loves all of us. He cares for us. We should only speak blessings uh, out of our mouths to those around us. But we are effectively cursing God if we curse those. And then he is the object of both expressions. God is not pleased with us when we do this. We should use our tongues to build one, one another up. Now, I know this was short here uh, tonight, and, and so, but I want to say thank you for tuning in. 
you know, uh, I, re I pre-recorded this. this is, I'm recording this tonight on Sunday night, and uh, my family's getting ready to go on vacation Monday. By the time you see this, Wednesday, uh, we'll have been on vacation. But I just want to thank you for allowing us to take just a few moments. But I want to just, just share this with you, continuing our Bible study on the book of James, and, and know that that God cares for all of us, and, and He wants us to speak blessings upon one another and show our love for one another and care for one another. I want to pray with you before we go. Dear Jesus, I just thank you that we can come here and, and be in your presence, God. And God, I just pray for all of those that are that are tuned into this, this Bible study here tonight, God, as we talk about James, talking about taming our tongue, God, knowing how we can speak, how we should speak to others. And God, I pray that we that we make a conscious effort, God, to to give more blessings, God, and, and, and no cursings, God, but that we, we show blessings to those, even our harshest enemies, God. I pray that we can give blessings to those, God. And I know sometimes it seems that, that we just we, we are just saying things that we shouldn't say, God. Even if it's typing on social media, God, we can say things that are just, just pure evil, God. And, and we need to be more about joy and more about happiness and blessings, by pouring out upon individuals, God. And we just thank you and praise you. And we give you all the glory, God. And we just ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Next week, uh, we'll be looking at James chapter 4. I'm going to do. I'm gonna read verses 1 through 10. Uh, I'll, and I'll also have some questions for you to answer for yourself in the description below. So please, if you, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. And also, if you'd like to know more about our church, you can visit us on the web at cliffterrace.church. Thank you once again for being here tonight, and y'all have a wonderful week, and we'll see you this Sunday. Don't forget, uh, we'll be starting a new series called Staycation. Uh, what new uh, guideline is, you can wear a mask into your seat once you get to your seat, and during worship, praise time, and all that, you can remove the mask, and then as you leave, uh, service. You just put the mask back on and, and exit. And so it's going to be a wonderful weekend. And, uh, and so we'll see y'all this Sunday and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Y'all have a great week. Bye.